Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to make these. Hey guys, John Libinati here with GlutenFreeWorks.com. I want to bring you a new YouTuber I just found. Her name is Lucy Liu, and she shows you how to make all different types of foods. The foods I'm most interested in are Asian foods, especially street foods, because really I haven't had dim sum or dumplings or anything like that for years. So to find out how to make these, and these are her recipes, and they look phenomenal. I mean, look at this right here. It's so easy. She shows you these videos. They're like eight, ten minutes long, and just walks you through it, giving you all the recipes, um, giving you the ingredients, and then showing you how to prepare them. So here she's dicing up garlic, and then she puts in the meat, and she tells you how to marinate it. Like I said, the different things that you need to use. She shows you how to make the dough. And I will say, she uses like a gluten-free um, self-rising dough. But she also says you can use rice flour and tapioca flour in a one-to-one -one mix, which is pretty much what I use for a lot of my, uh, a lot of my foods. But it's just neat to watch her make this stuff. And then the finished product. I'm going to fast forward here. All right, here she's cooking the meats, and she's got all the different ingredients in it. She doesn't say anything, which is interesting, but she has the text on here, and she just shows you how to make it. But here's where it starts getting good. All right, you see it all coming together. She puts in the sweet soy sauce, which I'm going to have to try. I've never had sweet soy sauce. Probably have to make that, too, because I can't have sugar um, in addition to gluten. So, probably have to end up using gluten-free soy sauce and then adding some type of sweetener to it that I can eat. Oh, look at that. That is fantastic looking. So, she makes it in little balls. Easy enough. You know, a lot of times you get intimidated. Like, I'm intimidated making some things. Even though I've made my own food for about 17 years now, uh, gluten-free food. And I'm pretty confident using the bread machine and... And cooking most things, especially barbecuing and stuff like that. But when it comes to something exotic, something I'm not used to, like this, oh, this is where I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can handle it. So it's neat to see somebody show you in such an easy way that, hey, you can do it too. Now, this is like the technical part from what I've seen and what I've tried in baking, because I'm not a huge baker, is anything that has to do with dough kind of throws me, and I usually have to do it a few times. But um, you see, she just slices off a little piece. And she gives you these handy instructions. What's really nice about her YouTube videos is it tells you everything, you know? It's not like you then have to go to a website to find the rest of it. All right, so she puts a little bit of the stuff inside. And look at, all right, this part's really cool. Look at that. This is the part I mess up. <laughs> Whenever you have to pinch things, you know? And you have to turn into the pretty, the pretty thing. I'm always like the, <laughs> you know, the nailed it. Remember nailed it where they would show people making cakes. And then afterwards they'd show, you know, the pros versus your own. And it was always like a disgusting mess. But look at that. Oh my gosh. They steam it for 10 minutes. It's funny. A lot of food is, isn't that hard to make. It doesn't really take a whole long time. And you think you have to go to a restaurant to really get it uh, and get good stuff. But look at this. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to make these. And here you go. Here's the recipe. And you saw how to make it. That's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to go to another one now. Because I really like her stuff. So that was dim sum. And I haven't had dim sum in forever. Oh, it started again. All right. Lucy Cooking is the name. Lucy Cooking dash GF and DF. So that's her YouTube handle there was one i was looking at like here's all the other stuff she makes she makes all kinds of stuff donuts oh here we go let's look at the wow there's a lot of stuff beef jerky oh i might have to make that all right we're gonna look at this gluten-free dumplings the vegan kind Oh, look at that. That looks right out of a restaurant. I mean, no lie. 
And here she shows, you know, the ingredients. And this is what I was talking about, the gluten-free self-raising flour. I've never even seen this kind before. Has no. So I'll probably end up just using rice flour and tapioca flour. Oh, and where I found her? I found her on Facebook, on one of the gluten-free groups. Uh, the group is called Free From Gluten. And I think they have a lot of members. But it just popped up on my news feed on Facebook. And I thought, oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm going to try making this. Haven't tried making it. I'm making the video first. And uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video to show you what mine looked like. I have a feeling they're not going to look as pretty as hers. So here she just shows you. Stir in the boiling water. All right. And then it's the same thing as the other one. She chops a bunch of stuff up. All right. So she's chopping up the mushrooms this time. And look how easy this is. Just dicing it basically, for the filling. I'm going to break out my cleaver. I never use it, but uh, <laughs> I remember there was a guy, Yan Can Cook. He used to be on TV, and he showed how to make uh, Asian food. And he was so funny, and he always used a cleaver. And I find using a cleaver really works uh, well for a lot of things. Uh, I don't normally use it, but I think I might start. So she's just showing putting the tofu and the mushrooms, frying over medium heat. Now let's get along to the part I like, which is making a little, the little dumplings themselves. I think I'm most interested in it because it's not just cooking. This is kind of like where the art comes in. So she makes these little discs and she flattens them out just like the dim sum. All right, so she made a bunch of these little crepe looking things. It's funny, I know how to cook, but I don't know what anything is called. <laughs> so I, I use weird words to describe. All right, she's putting the filling in. All right, here we go, it's getting good. All right, so she just closes it over. Oh, look at that, did you see that? Hold up a second. See how she did that? Hold up, I gotta see it again. Finger in, both fingers, I got it, okay. So she puts the finger in, and then she uses the other two fingers to push the dough, and then she goes from there. Oh, that's so the stuff doesn't fall out, right? I remember the last time I made something like this, everything fell out. But oh, geez, that, that's easy enough. I didn't watch this video before I shot this. So this is my first time seeing it too. Right, see it, the finger thing? And then she smushes it. Oh, I can't wait to make these. Right? Your oil. And then you add the dumplings. My mouth is actually watering it, and I just ate breakfast. <laughs> I like how she uses the dumplings to push the oil around. This is a good idea using the clear lid. I find the clear lids really do help because then you can actually see what's going on in there. Especially making like eggs if you're basing them. All right, so you see that? Hold up, I was talking. All right, so you simmer them over low heat till the bottom is brown. Uh, and then she's putting the water in, and this is to steam them. Gotcha. Simmer for five minutes, turn off the heat. Simple enough. Oh, man, they look fantastic. See, it, it doesn't look that hard. And I've tried a lot of things. I mean, I, I, I couldn't really cook. I could make eggs and peanut butter and jelly and stuff before I went gluten free, but actually cooking isn't all that difficult. It just takes some practice and uh, the right technique. So actually seeing somebody do it really helps. All right, I'm, I'm subscribing. Bam, just did it. All right, well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's Lucy Lou, and her YouTube is Lucy Cooking Dash GF and DF. 
and it really looks like good stuff. I can't wait to make it, and I hope this helps you in cooking your Asian gluten-free food. Until next time, I'm John Livinati with glutenfreeworks.com.